What's going on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm going to show you a foolproof way to make sure that your straw and hay is not contaminated with herbicides and safe to use as mulch or plant in. I've been using straw as mulch in my garden for years with great success, particularly around my fruit trees. In fact, so much do I love wheat straw that this year I'm actually doing my first straw bell garden to grow tomatoes in as a fun experiment. However, some of you have brought a major concern to mind and you're afraid to use things like hay and straw. Your fear is that your hay or your straw that you buy will be contaminated with herbicides and obviously some of these herbicides can last a very long time so if you were to plant plants inside of these straw bales or hay bales or use them as mulch it's possible that herbicide contamination could injure or kill the plants. The most amount of concern seems to come from two different herbicides graze on and round up because they're so incredibly toxic to a wide range of things and they tend to last for a long period of time. And I have a way that you can test your straw or hay beforehand to make sure that it is not contaminated. Glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, is less of a concern when it comes to being sprayed in straw and hay for a couple of reasons, in my opinion. The first reason is that it breaks down fairly quickly when exposed to sunshine. So if you're using wheat straw like I am, because this is a byproduct, the glyphosate probably hasn't been sprayed weeks before the final harvest. And then once all that wheat is harvested, by the time it sits in the field and it's finally baled, this straw probably hasn't been sprayed in a month or two, maybe even longer. Longer. So chances are it's probably degraded by then. Even if it hasn't, the Roundup, the glyphosate, it has to generally be sprayed on the leaves of plants to be absorbed. Very little is uptaken from the roots. So when using straw and hay as mulch or in a straw bale garden, the level of toxicity from glyphosate should be pretty low. The much bigger problem is Grazon. Grazon lasts a whole lot longer and it's usually sprayed where grazing animals lie, hence the name Grazon. So wheat straw is much less likely to be contaminated than hay. Hay has a much higher contamination rate. But let's say you can't get wheat straw and you only have hay in your part of the country, or for whatever reason, you just want to use hay, or there still is a chance that wheat straw could be contaminated. How do we check? The way you can quickly and easily verify if your straw or hay has been contaminated by Grazon is to plant legumes in it first because legumes are highly susceptible to the active ingredient. So here I have some pea plants that have been planted on a few of my bales. Uh, they've been in here for two to three weeks and you'll know they're contaminated because the leaves that will grow uh, will be funny looking. They won't develop properly because legumes are so susceptible to damage and these peas are growing perfectly. So what I did was I took a random sampling of the straw bales and I planted them in five random bales and all of them are doing well. They're having no challenges with uh, stunted growth due to chemicals. Uh, some of them don't look great because we've gotten so much rain recently, but they're all growing healthy. And you can tell which straw bales drain a little bit better because the ones that drain better are doing much better. This one is doing fantastic. So because I planted these legumes in there and they are exhibiting no signs of struggle, I know that these are not contaminated by herbicides. So I went ahead and I started planting my first cucumbers in here and I expect them to do very well since I easily verified that there is no herbicide contamination. And that's how you can easily and quickly verify that none of your straw or hay bales have been contaminated. If a legume will grow fine in there, it should be safe to plant in them in general. Now that being said, if you bought a whole bunch of straw bales or hay bales, you don't have to plant in every single one of them. I took a random sampling. I planted in five out of the 13 bales that I got and I purchased them all from the exact same shipment out of the back of the same truck so they all came from the same place. So you don't have to test every single one of them since they came from the overall larger collective. So don't drive yourself crazy with this. Oh and by the way you can do this with compost as well. If you want to make sure that your compost is safe and you're a little worried you can also plant some legume seeds in the compost as well and make sure that they grow safely and that there's no leaf defect formation. If there isn't, they should be safe to plant and use around your main vegetable garden. I know this is an extra step, but doing your due diligence like this can help avoid a major problem if you're concerned. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.